This video is the quick version. If you want the longer, more thorough version, click on the link there on the screen, or the link is in the description below, uh, where I go way more in depth on all the parts and everything. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of how to change the water pump uh, and timing belt, which you also get a tensioner. Oftentimes they sell these as kits. So if you're gonna replace any one of those, replace all of them. So the first thing you want to do is remove the passenger tire and then lift your car up on jack stands. And then you need to support the oil pan um, with a jack or another jack stand. But you need to, I use 2x4s here, uh, disperse the uh, weight across a bigger surface than just the head of the jack stand or jack. As it will bend once you remove the motor mount um all of the weight will drop and so you need something to support it um, so i just use two by fours here okay now we need to drain the radiator so the first thing you want to do is make sure the reservoir cap is on now that's the tank at the top of the of the car where you pour the coolant in um, think of it as your finger on the top of a straw that's full of liquid it won't go anywhere so with that in mind go underneath the car on the driver's side there's a screw at the bottom uh, left corner of the radiator unscrew that make sure you have a bucket underneath and if somebody's around to help you out it'll be a lot easier have them remove the cap and you can move the bucket wherever it needs to be so it doesn't spill all over the floor okay next you're going to want to remove the reservoir uh, so you're going to need a 10 millimeter uh, socket and you're also going to need a screwdriver Underneath the reserve tank is the motor mount, and you want to remove that as well. There's three bolts that hold it in place. Okay, now there's four bolts that you need to remove. Uh, so you can take off the big metal cover. It covers the timing belt and the housing there. Uh, there's one with a socket on it, and there's one right across from it. And then there's two just below it, one there and there. Now you need to remove the wheel well plastic shield um, that will expose all of the rest of the parts that you need to remove. So just use a screwdriver and you may need to come from the other side, apply some pressure to take those off. Once you take off that cover, there's another plastic cover. This covers the serpentine belt and the timing belt and it's just bolted on in a few different places. Unbolt that and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so the next step you need to remove the serpentine belt. And you've got a couple options. You can remove the bolts that hold the power steering uh, pump, and that will loosen it. Or you can get a serpentine belt tool and put some slack on the tensioner. Uh, if you don't have one yet, you're going to need one to finish the job. But if you just want to get further along, just uh, to undo those bolts, and then um, you'll be ready to go to the next step. Okay, with that done, you'll be able to take off the timing belt you can either cut it off or just use a wrench there with the tensioner and it will slip off the whole belt and you just use some some torque there and it takes the tension off okay then you need to take off the uh, wheel at the bottom and you kind of need to act as an air hammer if you don't have an air hammer you put it on and just kind of jerk it uh, a few times really quickly and it will unbolt it Okay, once you remove that, you're ready to take off the water pump. There's four bolts that hold it in place, and then there's also hoses that are connected to it. Remove the hoses. You're going to have some spillage, so you can put a bucket underneath, and then remove the bolts from the water pump. With the water pump off, you're going to want to get a razor blade and scrape off any remaining gasket material, and also kind of clean the general area, get rid of any grime that you have there. If you have a gasket, you can use gasket sealer, or if you don't have a gasket, you can use gasket maker, which is more or less the same thing. Put a small bead on both sides all the way around um, if you have a gasket, just like that. Not a lot, but you want to be able to seal that in. While you have everything taken apart, put on a new tensioner. You might as well, if you have the whole thing uh, taken apart, because those squeak and squeal. There's a pin in there. Don't remove that until you have the timing belt installed and before you install the timing belt make sure that you align uh, that gear with see that little arrow there and then there's a dot on the engine block those have to be lined up 
uh, otherwise you are going to ruin your car. So just use a wrench on that bolt there and turn it. It takes a little bit of force to uh, get it there. You can't really do it by hand. And then there's another wheel, the wheel at the bottom, you have to align that as well. Okay, they're similar. It's not exactly the same, but at the bottom, there's that wheel that you need to align. And there's a notch on the wheel, and then there's a little uh, notch on the actual engine block. Align those, um, and then while you're down there, you might as well clean out all the grime from your timing belt and the leaking water pump. Okay, now you're on the last step, and to do this, you need to put everything back together, essentially. You need the serpentine belt tool, that's that uh, tool in the red box there, and you just attach it to the tensioner. Now, if this is bad, it'll squeak or it'll be hard to, to turn. Uh, they do go bad, and if you have any kind of engine noise or persistent type of squealing, it might be a bad tensioner. So those are available at AutoZone or any kind of auto, auto uh, repair parts. They'll loan it to you with a deposit. And you need that to put your serpentine belt back on. Thanks for watching. I hope this was a helpful video for you. Please rate and comment. It helps me a lot, even if you just rate. And uh, just so you know, I've been driving the, the car for about three months now um, since I made this video or filmed it. And everything still works fine. Thanks for watching.